Hey guys, my name is Hayden Cassidy and I'm an Andes Global Educator. We're here today at my studio in London in the UK. Today I'm going to show you some of my favourite techniques that have helped me to become a successful barber. I hope you enjoy them and let's create. In this video we're going to take you through a tapered creative mullet. We're going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve this look. Start with the hair wet so you can section the hair into place and start your scissor work. Always comb the hair away from the face. Start by creating your profile section, then the center of the head. Ensure your profile section is no bigger than the combs width apart. Isolate the back of the hair to allow you to see clearly the shape you want to create. Start by removing the length from your profile guideline. Because the hair is curly, ensure the tension is correct to create a clean cut. Once your profile guide is created, you can now start to cut your horizontal sections using the guide from the center profile section. We want to create a square shape horizontally, so cut the hair club cut using the guide in the center. Work your way to the very front of the head and then repeat the same on the opposite side always using the center guide as your guide. Using your center guide, work to the back of the hair and round towards the head shape. Connect the back to the front by working in pie shape sections. And removing the desired length. Once your shape is complete, we can now work on our connection area. Create a triangle section from recession to recession. This will isolate the top part of the hair and will allow you to work on the connection throughout the sides. We're going to graduate the sides working in diagonal back sections. This will build the weight towards the back of the head, creating our shape for our clipper work to commence. Ensure your knuckles are tight towards the head and your fingers are out at an angle. This will build your graduation and weight. Repeat the same on the opposite side. This time our fingers should be tight towards the head and our knuckles should be away from the head. Refine the edges of the haircut around the back by using a feather razor to give movement and softness throughout the back of the head.
Once that's complete, we can now style the hair in the shape we want to create and start our clipper work. Once the hair is completely dry, we can now start to work with our clippers. We're going to start with our US Pro Cordless Adjustable Blade Clipper and our attachment guard number 4. We're going to use the clipper with the grain in the head to remove any excess weight. This will take the initial layer off the hair but won't attack the eternal shape. And make sure you use your comb to glide the clipper through the hair. Once you've removed the excess weight, you can now use the same attachment comb to remove the hair around the temple area. This technique is perfect for softening any thick, dense hair. Next, use our attachment comb number three to take the hair down even shorter. Notice how I'm using a C-shaped motion to scoop the hair into place, which means there's no lines being created. This is to allow for a soft, connection with our scissor work. Once that's complete, we can now use our number two attachment comb to clear the hair off even more. We want to work on the temple area to really create a fade. Notice how I'm using the clipper in the multiple directions. This is to ensure no weight is created. This is the perfect technique when blending clipper work into scissor work. Next, use your Anders Slimline Pro Lithium Trimmer to create your zero guideline. I usually create the guideline around the edge of the ear. You can use the same trimmer to remove any excess hair around the cheeks and chin. Once we've removed all the excess hair and created our zero line, we can now use our Andes Profile Lithium Titanium Foil Shaver to take the hair down to nothing. Next, we're gonna use our Andes US Pro Cordless Adjustable Blade Clipper Fade Nation Edition. We're going to open the lever and create our next guideline just above the zero guideline. Once we've created that step, we're then going to remove the line in between our zero with the same clipper. Next, place your one and a half attachment comb on and start to blend into the number two that we've created, that we've worked down to. With hair this light and soft, it's important to only softly use the clipper and not to take off too much hair around the temple. To finish off the blend, use your zero attachment cone and refine the any lines or blemishes in between. Constantly adjust the lever and use the corner of the clipper so you don't overwork the fade. Once we've blended the temple, we're now going to use our GTX XO trimmer to refine any lines and create our outline. Start by creating your C shape around the temple and then refine around the ear. This will really make the fade pop and create the shape of your haircut. It's important to take your time while working on the outlines as they're one of the most important parts of the haircut.
Remove any excess hair and tidy up around the nape. You can really start to see the fade pop. To finish the connection, use a small comb and your Andis Slimline Pro Trimmer to use clipper over comb technique. This will refine any blemishes. To finish, I'm going to use a paste which will allow me to really work the shape that I want to create. It's always a good idea to use a product with a slightly wet look on curly hair. This removes any frizz. Finish off your styling. And complete the haircut. I hope you enjoyed this tapered creative mullet. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed some of the techniques I've shared with you. Enjoy using them in your everyday salon or barbershop and I hope to see you soon.